everyone and welcome back to Battle Cats. We're gonna continue today guys with the Cats of the Cosmos levels, but before we do that, just wanna let you know, I got 10 minutes into this recording and uh, both of my recording programs decided to screw up on me. So uh, I lost the recording. I didn't do that much, but I did upgrade Psycho Cat. All right, so let's go over that for a second. So our old pal Psycho Cat, obviously you know he became Neo Psycho Cat. And then I upgraded him using cat fruit to corrupted psycho cat. So he now has um, faster movement speed and attack speed and all that good stuff. All will be consumed by the portals he creates. Soon he himself will be sucked into the dark realms. Sometimes slows alien movement. You guys gotta check this guy out, all right? I mean, obviously you'll see him in this video, but I wanna show you him in the cat guide because he looks real cool. Where are you at, Spoon Boy? Oh, there he is. Ha! So, psycho cat. Then Neo Psycho Cat, and look how much cooler he looks now. Corrupted Psycho Cat! Ooh. So he went from having a spoon to a little spinny thing to a bigger spinny thing. Looks like a galaxy. So this guy was, um, he was released, you know, his true form was released when the update came out, the Cats of the Cosmos update. So he's basically designed for, oh man, that's cool. He was basically designed for Cats, cats of the Cosmos, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna go out. Um, I only completed like a couple of levels, I think. Right now I'm going to Mars because I want to get the cat, um, the cat treasure there. Because there's one treasure that I need to get on Mars and then I will increase attack power versus starred aliens. I was wondering what these guys are gonna be called. I didn't think they'd just simply be called starred aliens. Well, either way, uh, I tried a couple of times on Mars already and it didn't work so well. I'm gonna go back again. I'm gonna do this until it's done. All right, just need one treasure. It doesn't have to be super good. It doesn't have to be superior. It just has to be a treasure. Oh, by the way, guys, one more thing. My crazed cats can now be upgraded to level 30. So I took crazed giraffe, obviously, and I upgraded it to level 30. Because crazed giraffe is my favorite crazed cat. Um, and obviously it might help to have, you know, manic mohawk upgraded and uh, maybe some other meat shields. Uh, I hear that it's good to upgrade dragon. So I did put some levels into him as well. Come on. Oh, seriously, this is my third time playing this level today. I gotta do it again. Surely this time we'll get it, right? Right? Oh, why? Why is it so difficult for me to get a freaking treasure? I'm not using a treasure radar. It's not worth it. I'll just go back in again. I've cleared this level five times now. Knock, knock, show me what you got. Better be a treasure. Ugh. Go easy on me, bro. I'm having a hard day. All right, thank you. Normal Martian ruins. Stellar garnet activated. That's a garnet, but it's in space. Well, I guess it's a it's made from a star or something because that's what stellar means stellar dude dude. That's so stellar All right, so aliens attacks against starred aliens are much more powerful. Do I got do I got anything else? I'm almost at Eskimo Nebula and Triton oh wait, no, 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 I pressed the wrong one and the cat's eye nebula I think that the cat's eye nebula might be the one I'm at right now. I just did the Eskimo Nebula. Let's take a look uh, oh, I completed them both, but I didn't get a treasure for either, of course, as you already know. Egg Nebula. We're, it's, it's, it's an egg. We're, we're going to an egg. Okay, good. I don't think Nebulas look like that. I'm pretty sure. Is that a Vegeta Nebula? Are we going to Vegeta? Guys, that's Vegeta right there. Holy shit. All right, well, we got to get in there. Um, 4,000 or less. I already have that done because I just did the previous level as well. So, the good thing about that is... Um, Kai and Kalisa are both under 4,000, so we do have something decently powerful here. What you got? Oh, look at that. What is that supposed to be? I mean, it's an egg, right? It's an egg and a little thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, slow down with those crazy aliens, man. Whoa. Here, have one of these. All right. Something to just, something to just smack you around a little bit. A few headbangs for you, you know. Oh, baby. Oh, that's just, it's just a normal alien. Nothing crazy. Uh, let's get Kalisa. What does Kalisa even do? What is her- what is her thing? Doesn't matter, man. She looks super cool. I mean, look at her. She's in a bikini, right? She's got good range, which is- oh! Okay. Yeah, outranged me. Not nice. I'm gonna have to kill you now, bro. It's your own fault. <laughs> okay, we got anything else or just a bear? You gotta give me at least one starred alien in this level, huh? Boss fight? Boss fight? Come on! Doesn't really matter. Wh whatever. We're actually getting some XP now from these stages. You know, 20k is pretty good. I don't mind spending like, you know, 65 energy on 20k. 
When are we going to Vegeta? There's also a little thing there with the horns on it. That's pretty cool. Vegeta, I need you. Oh, okay. All right, well, this is weird. Like, we're bouncing around in such a weird order. So I, I think Vegeta might be a little bit away yet. Calabash. What's a Calabash? Same thing. So this restriction's been going on for a while, man. Look at this. Okay, so this is the third one. Usually they don't last for three. Okie dokie. I don't mind, because that means I don't have to go in and change up my loadout at all. I can just keep going. Hello. Hmm. You know, this looks like a planet Vegeta might live on, but he's not here. Sad. Oh, little black dude. What's up, little black dude? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I should have, um... I should have Paris in here, I suppose. I mean, you know, I do have... I do have a ranged cat. You know, I've got macho legs, but macho legs is going to be smacked around in a second. Not if Giraffe has anything to say about it, which he doesn't. Can't even touch him. Uh, well, uh this guy. Okay, we'll put out this guy, and then we'll put out you... And between the two of you, maybe you can, like, stop him or something. Can you stop him, please? He's doing a lot of smacking. Ah, look at that. The giraffe actually did some damage this time. Nice job, giraffe. Still going. Still going. Looks like we got another dude here. Now, I think that crystal has something to do with, uh, like, a shield. You know, it kind of seems like that. We got to break the crystal in order to attack him or something. Okie dokie. That's cool. New stuff. I'll figure it out. Oh, shit. I just realized, guys, we should probably have... Corrupted psycho cat here, you know, I mean, we're just we're just hanging out not even using the guy get in there. Thank you 21k. Thank you very much normal gourd. I got a gourd Nice, it's a freaking vegetable. I don't know what a calabash is. So I mean, I guess that's fine Oh Altair and then after Altair we got something that looks a little bit crazy because it's all terrible. It's bigger Maybe it's gonna be like the equivalent of the the, the Great Abyss, you know? I wouldn't mind getting a tricky level here, or at least a level where I had to change my loadout, like, once. What do we got? Max deployable cats is 20. Okay, well, I'm putting in Psycho Cat now. Okay, it's about to get Psycho. I'll replace a meat shield. We don't need that many meat shields, you know. Here we are, let's do it. Slow him down, bro. I mean, he is pretty good in some levels, you know? He's been recommended a lot in certain, certain difficult stages because he can slow down, say, a Cyclone or something. You know, huh, ooh, you're not even gonna get anywhere, anywhere near that elephant. I wish. Ah, I was gonna say, I wish we had Aphrodite here. Aphrodite is my favorite, because, you know, she's a very long-range anti-alien. I've had her for a long time. She has a special place in my heart. I guess we'll just storm this guy, get a little bit destroyed here. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Smacking you. Oh, look at that. So that's a shield, right? Huh. I wonder how long we have to hit this guy before it breaks. See, I didn't realize it came up like that. I thought it was like in front of him before, you know? But I think it was just that the gorilla doesn't have a very good shield, but the elephant does. So I guess the elephant doesn't teleport or does he have like all the things? Okay, this is a little bit sad because we're getting a lot of dudes out here and I don't want that. Can you hurt something? Can you hurt something, Kalisa? Come on. This isn't good. This is not a good stage so far, you know? And it would be nice if I didn't just spend my energy on it and then realize that I should have different units here. If we just had, if we just had Aphrodite, everything would be fine. Come on, got him. Okay, so I think we just broke the shield. So that's good. Now the shield is broken, we can actually attack this guy. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, come back soon. There she is. <laughs> oh, they took her away again. Guys, come on. Hey, look at that. We killed the elephant. Okay, I should probably level up a little bit here. And, oh yeah, that's right. We can't have any more than 20. Oh, good to know. All right, well, we're good. Thank you very much. We didn't get a thing. Sad. Okay, let's see what's after that. Serious, are you serious right now? Uh, so Sirius is less energy than Altair. So is it gonna be better? Max number deployable cats, cool, cool. Let's get in there and change uh, change it up and put Aphrodite in, because she can basically save us from any situation. Ooh, shit, guys. Oh, man. All right, so this is going to be a neat level. That's a bum. I, I like that. I like how the first thing I see when I go to this level is a big old bum. Great. <laughs> okay, it should be a lot easier now that I got Awakened Bahamut in there and Aphrodite. Uh, but I'm wondering, what what are they going to do to him? I'm going to put him out and see, all right? He's, he's going to take a little while to get over there, of course. But he'll eventually get to that guy. He's got, like, spikes on his back and everything. This is some crazy shit, dude. Okay. Alligators, stop that. You're getting in the way. I'm just gonna level up, okay? Get him, bro! Get him! Oh! Oh! 
shit. Okay, so he can still teleport. He's, he, he's. Uh, I guess that's maybe his thing. Oh, stop it. No, you got, you got a good fast attack, and I don't like that. He keeps coming back, man. It seems like he doesn't have the strongest attack, but uh, he can do it pretty fast, and he can teleport. So let's start getting out some, getting out some units, and I'll try and put in uh, Aphrodite soon. No big deal, guys. Oh look, Psycho, you're doing, you're doing a thing. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Here she comes. Ta-da! Take that, you bum. <laughs> cannabis. Like cannabis, but totally different. Probably. Same situation. Max number 20 deployable cats. We got this. Hello. Oh, jeez. Hold on a second there, dude. You can't you can't just do that. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for putting him out first so that I knew that I had to switch up my loadout a little bit. Okay, let's put in the old Catsaurus. All right, I hope nothing else comes out because I just want to get in there and smack that guy around a little bit. We probably could have got... Wait a minute. What is that? Is that a chicken with legs in, a, in an airplane? Ooh, okay. Okay, I have no... Oh, okay, we got it. I was going to say, like, this is not going well, <laughs> but we finally got rid of him. Because, like, I mean, we got other aliens coming out here. We can't be focusing on this metal dude, you know? So we can just take out this guy, which is not a big deal. He's just a floaty dude. We can take him out. We should have enough for Aphrodite. And then, there you go. Yeah, that guy is worth a lot. I don't know why, but th that one, like, the, the moth and the owl are both worth so much money. All right, we got a really... F Whoa, jeez. <laughs> we got a really fast crit on the next guy that came out. He, he came out, boom, he was immediately dead. All right, thanks, Canopus, you... Chicken airplane. Oh, guys, I got really excited for a second. I saw Vague and I was like, oh crap, it's Vegeta time. It's not Vegeta time, I'm sorry. Uh, row one only. Oh, these ones were the worst, man. All right, well, Aphrodite's going up there. This guy's going up there. We'll leave in one meat shield and we'll put in Seafarer. And let's go with this guy as well. There you go. It's not a bad loadout. I mean, obviously, we don't really have a lot to work with here. That's the whole point of having one one slot. But we got Aphrodite. We got Awaken Bahamut. We got a meat shield. We got a range unit. And we got an alien stopper. That's not bad. Oh, it's time for us to refill our energy. Let's pick up another user rank reward. Hmm. Three treasure radars, eh? Thank you. And that's it. Now I'm finally caught up to my user rank. So no more rewards until I get another 28 upgrades. Okay. All right, so we got a lady eating some bamboo. That's good. I hope you enjoy that bamboo you're eating. I mean, obviously you enjoy it or you wouldn't eat it, right? Yeah. All right, well, if there's anything here, it should... It's it's here. Okay, great. Hey, don't don't you dare. I can't even get a hit on, on those guys. He's dead. He died so fast. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. We got enough to... They're gone. Okay, so that was the boss. A couple of black dudes. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's another one. He's coming, but look, we got range. So we can hit that thing, and we can hit them. And I wish I could put out some more things here. Wouldn't that be nice if I could actually deploy for my second row? <laughs> okay, here we go. Got him. Good stuff. I wish we could get some treasures, you know what I mean? I wish there were some treasures for me here. Uh, Aldebaran. There's some good names here, you know. We're almost at Vegeta. I think we're like two away if I if I paid attention correctly, which I might not have. Row one only. Let's do it again. Here we go. Oh, we got a red unit this time, guys. That's different. Haven't seen many of those around. Hey, don't you dare. Stop that. God, took him long enough to die. 180,000 HP on that thing. We got one of these dudes. So he's going to teleport him, right? He's going to teleport him. <laughs> to the back. There was only one other dude there. Okay, it's fine. Awaken Bahamut. That's what you gotta do. You, you gotta you gotta show him who's boss. Say, hey, stop it. Get the hell out of here. We're moving through. Okay, bring on the boss. What's it gonna be? I got Aphrodite ready to go. So you can't you can't stop me. I wanna at least I wanna have Awaken Bahamut be Bahamut be the one who actually Okay, brought it down. Do it again. There was nothing here! I was gonna, the reason I said I wanted him to bring it down is because I thought we could at least get a head start on destroying the base, you know? Let's say at 160k, something's gonna come out. Awaken Bahamut can get it down to like 80k, and that'd be a lot better, you know? Anyway, that didn't happen. Nothing happened there. That was a boring one. Um, Battle Goose. Battle Goose. Good name. Row one only again. All right, then. 
I only need five units. Okay, I don't even need that. I could do it with four, maybe even three. All right, we got an angel first, but he's not that bad. You know, he's just uh, he's just trying to chew on my meat shields a little bit. I accidentally hit the level up there. I didn't mean to do that. I was kind of trying to save up for an awakened Bahamut, but that's okay. You know, I, I'll do what I can. He's gone, and three, two, one. Here he comes, bam. Okay, so this time there were some people. I like how they can actually like run underneath them while they're flying backwards. It's really weird. Okay, I guess that's why they have them. You know, that's why they have the little angel guy come out because he can kind of bypass some of the dudes or whatever. Got him. Oh, these levels are so easy when you're allowed to use Awakened Bahamut. Inferior Orion's belt. Thank you, Orion. Hope your pants don't fall down. Oh man, where is Vegeta? How far are we? We're getting through these things, aren't we? Jeez. All right, yeah, I was... Uh, Let's go back. I want to see. So the Vegeta planet's right there. So we need to we need to get there. We're going up around, coming back down. We went down there. I was like, oh, we're so close to Vegeta, but no, we gotta go to Denub first. What the hell's Denub? Oh crap! I didn't check the restrictions on this one. Am I screwed? Are there restrictions on this one? Okay, there are no restrictions on this one, guys. It's a goose by the look of it. It's really big. I'm assuming we're gonna have to bring out the big guns for this one. Now, I think we're pretty good with this loadout because, you know, this loadout was going good for me. I just had to move it around because I wanted to have my best in the front row. You know, front row tickets. So, um, maybe I'll take this guy out and put in Paris, okay? I think that's all I'm gonna change though. I think other than that, we should be good. All right, what you got for me? This one feels like a, yes, it is. It's the Great Abyss. It's the equivalent of it for uh, for the Cats of the Cosmos, right? I mean, it kind of seems like that. So there's gonna be some crazy stuff here. I mean, we got these little dudes who are always annoying as hell and they're not dying. They don't wanna die, but I got an Awakened Bahamut so you guys better start dying soon or I'm gonna help you out a little bit. That's a lot of them. They're still not dying. They're not being froze. Oh, one got froze. Good. Aha, somebody died. I put out Aphrodite first. It's kind of a missed tap, but might've been a better choice. You know, let us get in there first, see what we're dealing with here. What is that? Who was that guy? Hey, you dude, what are you doing? He's got a star. He's a star alien. Okay, gotta make sure I keep the meat shields out here. You know, I don't want, uh, I don't want any trouble. I gotta I got get Awakened Bahamut out there now to clear up some of these dudes. Seriously, what is this guy? He's got a huge range. I know that much. He's just kind of crawling around there. Look at that guy, he's a mole. He's a mole in a hole. <laughs> okay. Well, we froze him, which is really good. Oh, and I hit him again. He's not having a good time trying to attack. He couldn't attack at all. Nice job, mole in a hole. Get wrecked. There goes your base. Big old goose gone. I got a superior swan from that one. Nice. So it was a swan, not a goose? Is that what you're saying? What's the difference, you know? Swan versus goose. Swans and geese are the largest members of the duck family and swans are among the largest of all flying birds. Swans are larger in size and have proportionally larger feet and longer necks than geese, which are closely related. Okay, okay, I was close. I was closely related. Oh, we're so close to Vegeta, guys. We are so close. I really hope he's next. We gotta go to the Cosmic Lounge first where we're not allowed to use Ubers or normals. Okay, let's get rid of them. Bring on the Cosmic Lounge! This is a short level, holy crap. There's no room for nothing here, man. Jeez, we'll get my face. Get my face with that. I got one of these and I'll, I'll smack you away. I gotta be really careful here, guys, because this is gonna be a bit of a strat level, you know, maybe. I got a couple of Parises, that should be enough. I got enough meat shields to uh, stop these guys from doing too much damage. People are dying, that's good and awaken Bahamut. Okay, excuse me, coming through, just uh, pardon me, you know, I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes here or anything. Uh, definitely not. And it's gonna be over, isn't it? Yeah, just like that. A starred alien came out, but he died before he had a chance to do anything. If your tower dies, so do you. Cider star. I think you mean Vegeta. I'm pretty sure that's what you mean to say. You know, Vegeta! What does the scouter say about Cider Star's power level? <laughs> it's over 9,000! What the hell is that? That's a bub, that's vegetables. What? Why are there vegetables here? It's not vegetable, Jita. It's, well, yeah, maybe, maybe that's the joke. Maybe that's it then. Vegeta. 
So yeah, I don't really want to read into this too much, guys. You know, I don't want to connect too many dots that aren't supposed to be... I think that just about seals it. You know, Vegeta's got a bit of a forehead on him. You know, it looks like Vegeta. It's vegetables. Veg. Ida. We got a forehead. And Cider's star. So I'm guessing a Cider is like a scouter. You know, the one that shows the power level. Okay, I figured it out. I just gotta bring up a quick picture of Vegeta, guys, because, you know, going from my memory, that definitely looks like Vegeta, but I just wanna... Oh my god! Vegeta! That's the... the uh, how many how many words... How many letters is that? That's six letters! That's the first six letters in... Vegetable! It all makes sense, doesn't it? Well, how did I not, how did I not realize that Vegeta was a vegetable all along? Jeez. Yeah, that's definitely him, guys. That's definitely him with the with the thing coming out in the middle. I don't know what kind of hairline is that, Vegeta. What are you even doing? All right, well, look, that was great. That was a great little experience. There is a, a huge Dragon Ball Z reference <laughs> right here. I'm gonna end it here, guys. We'll continue with probably another bonus episode. You know, instead of doing one a week, doing two a week, as I mentioned in the last one, that's probably gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.